So when anybody gets a traffic ticket, no matter what the charge is, you got pulled over, you received the ticket, he gave you it, it's a traffic ticket. What this falls under is called a summary conviction court. That's where you're going to have to deal with in order to get law. It's not the superior court, it's not the provincial court, it's called a summary conviction court. That's the name of it. Summary conviction court. What a summary conviction court actually is, it's an internal tribunal for employees of the government. It's an internal tribunal. It's for public servants of the government. It's not for men and women. So they're declaring your legal person to be a public servant of the government. And they're saying at the time they issued you your ticket, you were performing duties, you were operating for the government at that time. You were working for the government at that time. Criminal Code of Canada. Summary Conviction Court means a person, now notice that, a person who has jurisdiction in the territorial division where the subject matter of the proceedings is alleged to have arisen and who is given jurisdiction over the proceedings by the enactment under which the proceedings are taken. Remember that summary conviction court, when you hear that term, summary conviction court, it actually just means a legal person. That's all it's saying. A legal person or a corporation. And this legal person, it represents the acts and the regulations that have been given force of law. So the summary conviction court, it represents the acts and the regulations that have been given force of law to try and imply them and punish people. Now, it's a legal person's your juridical personality, who are public servants, who these acts and these regulations apply to. And they automatically assume that you are a legal person, and they automatically assume that you are working for the corporation. As you saw in Article 794 of the Criminal Code, unless you invoke your exemption and tell them, where is your proof that I was a public servant when you issued, issued me this ticket? Burden of Proving e Exception the burden of proving that an exception, exemption, proviso, excuse, or qualification prescribed by law operates in favor of defendant is on the defendant, and the prosecutor is not required, except by rebuttal, to prove that the exemption, exception, proviso, excuse, or qualification does not operate in favor of def the defendant whether or not it is set out in the information. So, in the Criminal Code of Canada, whenever these people give you the ticket, in Article 794, there's no obligation to inform you of any exception, exemption, provisio, excuse, or qualification that would render you not obligated to pay this ticket. So the fact that they mention that there is such a thing as exception, exemption, provisio, excuse, and qualification. The fact that this article is in the criminal code means that there must be some way for you to get out of this. And they're not going to tell you. Exemption, black laws, freedom from a duty, liability, or other requirement, an exception. Under criminal code 794, it says they do not have to inform you of any exemptions to the ticket that you just received. Now, exemption means any freedoms or any freedom from the liability to them. So they're not under obligation. The cop who gives you the ticket, nor the courthouse, or the judge, or the court clerk to tell you or teach you about any exemptions or how to get out of this obligation. No responsibility. Summary Conviction Court the procedures and the powers that come to this court, it's given through enactments. Enactments. Enactments are the acts and the regulations that have been given force of law by the Parliament. So the power of this court is coming through the acts and the regulations. That's where they get the power from. In summary conviction, proceeding means proceedings in respect of an offense that are declared by an act of Parliament or an enactment made thereunder to be punishable on summary conviction, and proceedings where a justice is authorized by an act of Parliament 
or an enactment made thereunder to make an order. Enactment means an act of parliament or an act of legislator of a province that creates an offense to which applies or any regulation made thereunder. Common law principles continued. Every rule and principle of the common law that renders any circumstance a justification or excuse for an act or a defense to a charge continues in force and applies in respect proceedings for an offense under this act or any other act of parliament. So within the summary conviction court, it still says that every rule or principle of common law that provides an excuse, now notice this, an excuse or defense to the charge still has force. So if you could provide an excuse or a defense against this charge in common law, then it still has force and you can get out of this charge. So in Article 15 of the Criminal Code of Canada, it says that you can't be charged or convicted in respect of an act or not obeying that act because it's a de facto power. But then it says in Article 794 that the burden of proving your exemption, it rests upon you, not upon them. That's why they said the cop is not under obligation, the courthouse is not under obligation. The burden of proof approving your exemption concerning Article 15 that you're, you're not accountable, you can't be charged or convicted under these acts because it's de facto, that burden of proof lies upon you to show them that. Criminal Code Article 15 Obedience to de facto law No person shall be convicted of an offense in respect of an act or omission in obedience to the laws for the time being made and enforced by persons in de facto possession of the sovereign power. So in Article 126 of the Criminal Code, when it says that everyone without lawful excuse, if they don't establish their lawful excuse, they can be charged with failure to obey an act or a regulation. So you see the connection here. If you fail to establish your lawful excuse, then the Summary Conviction Court, Summary Conviction Court, SEC, will continue to charge you for failure to obey an act or regulation. But if you establish your lawful excuse, your exemption, your exception, as you've seen, then you can't be charged. There's no way for them to charge you. Criminal Code of Canada, Article 126. Everyone who, without lawful excuse, contravenes an act of Parliament by willfully doing anything that it forbids or by willfully omitting to do anything that it requires to be done unless a punishment is expressly provided. So, everyone without lawful excuse who contravenes an act of parliament. So when the cop issues you a speeding ticket, for example, okay, the cop assumes you are a legal person. And he assumes that your legal person right now is operating as an employee, as a public servant for the government, and that you are performing duties for the government right now. That's what he's assuming. That's what they are declaring. They're saying, I have the right to give you a ticket because right now you are working for the government. You are considered an employee of the government. You are in the capacity of working for the government. Therefore, I can regulate your actions. So ask the prosecutor, ask the courthouse, where is the proof that I was working as a public servant? Therefore, you have the right to punish me. Show me the proof that I was an employee at the time you issued this ticket that I was working for the government at the time you issued this ticket. If you can't show me that proof, then I established my lawful excuse for my juridical personality. If you can't show me that proof, then I have an exemption because I was not an employee, I was not a public servant, servant therefore I'm not subjected to these enactments. Therefore, Article 15 of the Criminal Code applies and Article 126 of the Criminal Code applies and this case should be dismissed and will. So once you point out your exemption, then it forces your exemption, then it forces them to drop all the charges because they're not under no obligation to tell you about the exemption that you have. But if you tell them and explain to them that you have the exemption, they have to drop all charges against you. Remember that summary conviction court, when you hear that term, summary conviction court, it actually just means a legal person. That's all it's saying a legal person or a corporation, 
And this legal person, it represents the acts and the regulations that have been given force of law. So the summary conviction court, it represents the acts and the regulations that have been given force of law to try and imply them and punish people. Now, it's legal persons, your juridical personality, who are public servants, who these acts and these regulations apply to. And they automatically assume that you are a legal person, and they automatically assume that you are working for the corporation. As you saw in Article 794 of the Criminal Code, unless you invoke your exemption and tell them, where is your proof that I was a public servant when you issued, issued me this ticket? The burden of proving that an exemption, excuse, or qualification prescribed by law operates in the favor of defendant is on the defendant, your responsibility. And the prosecutor is not required to tell you anything. You have to tell them.